This week, we tour the new Throne HQ. Today, we're going to be giving you a tour of the new spot. You guys have seen me kind of build it and finish it, and now we're finally getting settled. Not all the way, but you've seen the outside. Cool little gate we designed. We still have a bunch of snow, throwing trash cans. But um, that'll be fun to show you guys around. First up. <laughs> so shady. So here's the front entryway. This goes to the main floor. This goes downstairs to shipping. Here is our awesome new microwave that is currently on the floor because it needs to be installed, but today's President's Day, so they did not come and install it because that one's got a dent in it. Start with my office. What are you, what are you doing in here? Welcome to Main HQ. This is not your, this is not your desk. It's our, it's our meeting place. It's our meeting place. <laughs> so this is my office. You've kind of seen that from Throne videos. Starting over here, here is the one and only Alec. You know the Seahawks lost, right? You, you don't care? You, you just support losers? Just for their effort, the valiant effort. <laughs> um, well, first up, we have the couch. Connor Wilson gave us this couch, and it's really awesome. It's a Chesterfield I was taught by Eve. Did you know couches have names? No, but this is a beautiful couch. It is a good I one. I love sleeping on it. Um, starting over here, we got the big, huge Kressler crane Hercules thingy that is Max, and it's way too heavy to use, so we only use it for special occasions. Here is that Woody I got at um, Laxcon. Got um, a wooden shaft from Fitzy back there that I got to put on uh, something. And then we got some demo sticks and the Hawk I've been using lately. Um, high school jersey. Down here we got a gift from my buddy Dave. Um, it's kind of a patent from an old wooden stick. I'm gonna try and put that up once I get that all strung up. And then have some sticks. I'm planning to hang these things in there. But first up is the first throne mesh stick ever on a Warrior Levitation. Um, pretty sweet. It's, it's actually from Dan Kachu. He uh, played in the MLL. He's now the coach at Towson. Then we have uh, my Evo X6 full box setup. Really love that stick. And then we have the first throne leather stick ever. Um, it's the clutch that we use for the tutorial, and that's on an OG Crypto chilling. And then over here we have the stick I used in Prague and I strung on top of the water tower, so that's pretty cool. Over here have the uh, Privateers jersey from Prague. Photo, that's pretty cool that they had there, and then the whole team actually signed it going all the way up. It's covered because the way this is used, but um, might get it reframed, so it's actually there. Here we have this little dude as a display. We usually have a t-shirt on him, but we sold all of our t-shirts, and Alec yells at me every day to order more. <laughs> um, he's got the old CPXR with the visor in it. Camera stuff, camera stuff. My beautiful camera and Max's beautiful lens. For all you camera guys, 5D Mark II, or sorry, 5D Mark III, I can't believe I just said that. And then we have a 24, 1.4 L glass, gorgeous. And then um, got the Zakuda Z Finder, so you can see yourself. Um, fully modded, it's pretty awesome. And on, on a Mii photo, little handy dandy black and gold, of course, tripod. Up here we have the lacrosse.com magazine that Chris and I were in, so super awesome to be in print. So the cover and then the inside kind of leaf out thing. Um, I'll show you the rest over here. So here's the other two sides of it. Super, super cool. Over here, this was a gift for Christmas, Mac, or my birthday? Or for the new place, right? The, the dragon's helmet? The new place, the new place right? So uh, lacrosse.com. Um, Probably saw the Throne Chronicle over there, and uh, they had a million dragons helmets, and so they sent me one, which I think is awesome. We're gonna try and get Kyle Harrison to sign it. Um, pretty cool throwback. Here is my trad um, lacrosse, T-Lax, traditional, whatever you want to call it. Um, Woody made signed right here. Um, pretty, pretty awesome stick. Uh, this was made by Brad McGowan. He was actually here last week, so it was a lot of fun hanging out with him. Back here we have a little secret project that I try to get nobody near, but signed by Paul Rabel. There's two balls right there and then also the head um it's a burn with the ion we did this with sports stop we're going to be auctioning this off at the paul Rabbit foundation there's the logo right there pretty cool that's hiding so nobody steals it or tries to use it and then right there we have security camera for the front 
right here is one of my favorite possessions. It is my PV original 5150 EVH and a Marshall 800 lead V cab. Um, I play guitar and this is my main setup. My buddy Tommy Vasta I think would be a big fan of that. Next up are these awesome yellow chairs that everybody, you hate these chairs, right? I feel like, oh, I don't like them at all. You like them? I love them forever. Like, I feel like every time I got in trouble in school, like I had to leave the desk chair and go they're in the hallway the and yeah. they were there and I was like, so we found them, they're throwing yellow, they're fun, got some pillows on it. Lunchroom. Got a Jordan box with something fun in it that you guys will see soon. Um, up here, we got some heads. We have the ghost that we got back, kind of just retired. An original Evo X6 and then a blade, an OG blade. Here we have a Boston Cannons 2014, um, signed by the whole team, R. Um, really, really sick helmet. Uh, when we did Lax the Max, we got to go to a game on the field, and they gave me that helmet and I had everyone sign it, which is pretty cool. Paulie Rabs is right there, Burgers above him. Some really, really awesome players on that. Next up is our Towson helmet. Um, we do supply Towson. They've had an amazing win over Hopkins, so got to wrap them there. Uh, photo from Prague. Down in here is kind of our cool friends cabinet so you see a lot of epic stuff so we have um, the limited edition hawk with this hawk right here was actually strung by Zach Dorn and was a gift to us for doing his custom head so that's super cool and then we have the uh, beat cancer um, epic shaft and then we also have the Ty Thompson one that was signed that I got picked up at LaxCon back there is the player X box we, we took all the shirts out just the box was cool so we kept that and then I got my Jordan cleats right there that I might be sending to Cruise World to have them customized Let's skip the computer, we'll get back there. And then over here, we got two more blades, a Gen 1, a Gen 2, um, a crazy die I tried that didn't turn out, but was pretty cool, so we leave it up there. Uh, my throne helmet with the visor and uh, head wraps decals. And then two years ago, national championship Duke helmet. Um, really, really awesome. And then another thing in Prague, I have nowhere to put. Down here is my OG blade that I actually use. Um, that is a Gen 2, and I absolutely love it. Back there is a painting that Caesar did for me years ago. That is one of my favorite things in the office. I just think it's super, super cool. Um, and then we have the only, I think, unused epic Throne Army shaft left, and I'll probably just leave them there forever. Over here, you've seen these. These are the Hirachi turfs signed by all the Thompson brothers. You can kind of see it. We just used this box at LaxCon, so the shoes aren't displayed as well. Um, right there is a Matt Donowski ball, the first time I saw a game on Long Island. Um, I hadn't signed that in a few years ago, so pretty cool. I like to kind of a good memory of lacrosse. And then, I just gotta show you this stuff. So here is the Under Armour National Iroquois Box Team Glove, signed by a bunch of the dudes, um, like Cato Hill and a bunch of cool people around there. And then um, right here it was from Zach Dorn. Um, he did this as another thank you. Super, super cool guy and uh, really good at you know writing and some graffiti, looks pretty awesome. And then here's the thank you letter from him, handwritten, Stan, wow, class act guy just destroyed my elbow. And then here is a photo booth thing of us in Baltimore that we keep, which is pretty funny that we went to Urban Outfitters because Chris, I think, needed pants or something, but super cool. Here's my guitar. Here is my diploma. And I just found out that it's, I, I graduated with honors. I thought that was pretty funny. Somebody was reading it. I don't it says it says it on the thing. Oh, okay, hearsay, I guess. <laughs> um, this down here is another thing I got to hang up. I kind of feel bad. It's on the ground. Um, this is uh, the T-shirt from the National Box Team, and uh, it's signed by uh, the Thompson Trio. So we have Miles, Lyle, and Ty. And this was the first time I met them, so that was pretty cool. And this was actually at the Notre Dame game that I filmed, um, so that was pretty sweet. And then here we got my hat. Got my trunk that's got some projects in it, some uh, Nikes, and then the three new pre-strungs we're doing for lacrosse.com. Got to do a video on that, and we're back to Al. Still Definitely doing can. still doing nothing. <laughs> Alright, getting into the desks and stuff, um, we built kind of all of this from Ikea stuff. Some of it's kind of stock, some of it's kind of hacked. Um, here's my MacBook Pro that we pretty much do all of Chronicles on, and kind of just, not much media, but pretty much Chronicles, because um, it's easier to pass around. Got my magic mouse thrown. Um, this is called mouse pad, right? Yes, yes. Mouse pad. Uh, this is the super deluxe bodega coffee. Um, business cards, and then right here is actually the backup to my entire Hackintosh that I stole from Chris. I played there because I've lost it like six times. Lamp, subside, lighting stuff, and now getting into the beast. So, first up, 
There is the Blackintosh. Um, it is a dual boot Hackintosh. It runs both Mac and Windows 8.1. Um, it's currently on Maverick, so I don't like Yosemite that much. But I um, actually built this whole thing. It currently has a side cover off because it's currently working on it, but um, it's pretty dope. It's got an i7 in it, liquid cooled. Uh, got a 760 in it. Just, just overall pretty, pretty badass. And uh, there we go. This is awesome stuff. Here's my Audio Technica's best headphones on the market. If you're wearing Beats, uh, don't talk to me. I uh, got three Asus monitors, and then it's got this really cool bracket on it. And then I have my Vizio soundbar, soundbar for your computer, next level, absolutely love it. Keyboard, mouse. My death adder for gaming, blue microphone also for gaming for whatnot, iPad mini, charger, and then um, I use Xbox controllers for some of PC video games, so I have that, and then I have a PS3 in here that I play pretty much one game, and you guys probably know what that game is, because it's a ridiculous amount of fun. I got my one plus one stuff, some guitar strings, some other crap. And that's about that. But I um, absolutely love my computer, spending a lot of time here. You got me this awesome sound isolating foam to make it easier in here for making videos. And it's all backlit with LEDs. Currently fitting this for a TV, so excited for that. And then, and this one is just nonsense, junk, business cards, randomness. Next up, we got Mac. Do you wanna, you wanna show the people your goodies? That sounded really wrong. This is my phone. <laughs> He, cordless. He had a headset, but he broke it. This is my keyboard. That's my keyboard. No, I spilled on your keyboard, and then I brought this in, and then Chris spilled on it, so only half of it works. Um, You're the worst. This is, this is my iPad that we clock everybody in with. Joe dropped it and broke it. I didn't drop it. That was the one where your knife elbow went into it. No. You dropped that on the ground the day after you got the screen fixed. No, um, I broke it on your elbow. Mm -hmm. Everything. You spilled on this, 4th of July. All right. <laughs> Here's a Rattler's helmet that we got a long time ago. Um, I forget, I think I got it in a trade. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, next we have Max Throne Army helmet. And this is pretty cool. Here's his hill helmet. He went to hill school, what side is it on? Pretty cool. CPX, got a stack. Yes. Well, yeah, because he doesn't get into fights, he can't win for us. <laughs> uh, Throne Army, uh, not Throne Army, sorry. Throne of String, lacrosse.com cover, Mac stuff. Is that the candy drawer? Beats. Oh, you have Beats, yes. He, he, I make him put them away because they're embarrassing. Oh, is this the jerky? stick. Is that the ostrich jerky? Yeah, ostrich jerky. Natural almonds. What's fake almonds? I don't know. Fruit snacks. <laughs> uh, here's some of Mac's sticks. Um, he's got a prophecy back here if you can't tell. Um, we won't really mention that. All right, but don't go in your drawers. This is my backup camera. Oh, back, yeah, we have his 7D. Bam. Chilling. Hold up, this is my box of stuff. Do people want to see this? Clear tape for when yellow's not co uh, cutting it, you know. What do we got in here? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You got a I didn't put that <laughs> on the wall. wings spray with no photo. There we go. Um, about it. Got a lot of tax. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of safety going on there. Um, we got some trads going out, special order trads. Got some two cool heads here. We just got a shirt from buddy Casey from 380 that does uh, all the world custom. Yeah, does all those crazy custom gloves. Here is our wall. We sold about half of it um, at LaxCon, but we got some cool heads, some retired heads. Oh my God, shut up. And then we have a bunch of other cool stuff here. And this is Connor from Lax All-Star Seat. When he's here, he works a lot in the city, but when he's here, this is where he chills. Um, so we got some hounds, gloves, and helmet from our buddy Joe Vitali that's up there. Two Thailand helmets from uh, when Connor was in coaching in the World Games. Some Albany gloves from last year that I don't know where Connor got them and I just threw a screw on the ground. Um, pretty cool. Really, really good book on lacrosse that my sister got me. If you haven't read it, you need to read it. And then we got Connor's half thrown army, half jester helmet from New Orleans. Yeah, there's, there's the jester. And right here is probably the coolest thing we have this entire place. This is John Grant Jr.'s helmet from the World Games that he refused to wear because he said it was too small. And I don't know if you can tell, this is the largest helmet in the world and weighs probably 
14 pounds. But um, I don't know how Connor ended up with it, but he did. And then a bunch of Connor's sticks. As you know, he likes traditional, so he's got a bunch of them. And then here's our emergency fire extinguisher. I don't know why it's over here. And then I've been working on wiring, so. Our fridge has nothing in it. So we currently have water, vitamin water, water, my balance bars, champagne that will stay there forever, a bunch of condiments. Oh, we got a V8. We got a V8. Can't believe we have that. Lots of hot sauce. Everybody loves hot sauce. Lots of ketchup and a ginger ale. That is everything in our fridge. And then get into Chris's office and Colin's hanging out as well. This is the room that everybody wants to see anyway. Nerd stuff. <laughs> You're doing that nerd stuff. Um, yeah. This is current heads that got to be done. Um, some pre strongs that need to be done. Today is work order. Tomorrow's some other ones. Over here is the stock of current selection of heads. Uh, this is pretty cool. Eve got me this last year. Um, another one of those patents. Chris's backpack that's pretty dirty. It looks cool though. It's cool though. Colin stringing, cutting the uh, the crystal up. Chris is stringing. You doing pre strings or in order? Who's this, who's this for? Perfect. Jim Doofer. Jim Doofer! Getting a Rabel 2. Is it Rabel 2? No, Evo. Um, this is our mini kind of up here, so you don't have to go downstairs to get string. Chris, this is Chris's corner, as you can tell, he's got a 10, 15? 15. 15. Mini helicopter. Beating stick. No, this is this is the picture. The picture, <laughs> the, the picture stick. Um, this is a Princeton. Princeton helmet, pretty cool. My ammo box he stole from me. That's now the and then die supply a die. bunch of fan art that Chris gets sent all the time and hangs it up over there. Pretty cool, pretty cool, not gonna lie. And then uh, my gear bag, so it stays nice and warm, but not I, don't, get snowed on. I don't have to deal with it. Yeah, not get snowed on. And then here is our little basketball hoop that is a lot of fun. We got the first generation, second generation, third generation. Throwing stickers on it. Get into the backyard. I feel like people have seen this, but it's definitely cool. Oh, we're planning to smash this TV, so looking forward to that. And here's the old table that we used to take all the photos on. It's actually an old door but um, we used it as a table. Still, hopefully, we'll one day use it as a table. Here's our All Ball Pro and our Predator box cage. Two awesome, awesome things. Backup hockey and lacrosse stuff over here. And you can probably see we smashed that window. You mean Alec and Joe? <laughs> yeah, and we smashed this window. So, gotta figure something out. We're gonna try and do... Good, 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 I almost slipped on the ice. Good, good We're gonna do some type of containment kind of why I put the poles in there. But um, pretty cool, nice day. And we have a hawk that lives in that tree, which is, for lack of a better term, pretty badass. Oh, sweet hands. Sweet hands, bro. Oh. You're gonna get back to work now? Oh, God. <laughs> do, not, do not Kyle Harrison right now, you will die. So that's the throne floors. Now we're going upstairs where Eve and I live. And uh, I usually go up and down the back, but I figure you guys wanna see the front. We uh, put this door in, it's pretty sweet, stained it. Picked up the light. And uh, this is our video intercom. I don't think she's gonna answer it, but door's open. Pew pew. Pew pew. There's Eve. Hello. Here's our little entry table. My mom actually had this commissioned um, for the house. Um, this is the Cuyahoga River. I went to school right here, and I live like right about here is where I grew up. And this is Cleveland. Um, so that's pretty cool. And underneath there's our thermostat, which hides it because it's ugly. So, living room. Fireplace. Cool chandelier with dimmer switches. Very important. TV from the old place. Uh, Connor also gave us these chairs, which are super cool. And it's got some fur on it. We just put these blinds in. They look really nice. Some clothes. Couch. Fireplace is dope though. Probably my favorite things. I've got some cool stuff up here. I found this mirror in the street and it was part of a vanity. And I cut out the vanity and we hung the mirror and it's amazing. It's super, super old and awesome. Eve's harp table. And yes, I did not know what a harp table was until I met Eve, but that is a harp table. This is probably my favorite thing, right? So here's the shoe closet. Um, Eve only gets one level, I get three, 
and it goes pretty deep back there and then we have the boxes back there and some stuff and then over here are some of my coats and jackets and stuff but planning to do something cooler in there Potter and well chris's office that's what it's been known as for a while um oh the potter room i really like this room too because everything's tiled it's just kind of super cool and it's got a really cool light in it but guest bathroom it's got nice trim to it just nice and i love that light and getting to Eve's favorite place, the kitchen. This is our bodyguard. Um, the biggest room in the house. The biggest room in the house is the kitchen, by far. It has 64 cabinets. You can rent them on Craigslist if you like, because we have about a third filled. Soon will be a dining table here, but we kind of don't know what we want. Um, and Jackie, um, our friend that lives with us is a florist, so you'll see really cool flowers everywhere that I don't touch because they would die. And this is, no, never mind, this is the coolest thing in the house, right? <laughs> so I found this at Home Depot, and I was like, what? And so we had to have it. It's, uh, and then it just closes. It closes. Well done. And uh, stuff like that. There's the backyard, a little sitting area that we have never used because it's covered in snow since we moved in. But that is the kitchen, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh yeah, and we have a wine fridge that, this is normal mode, this is like Joe mode, and then this is Chris mode. So, Joe mode, Chris mode. I'm gonna leave it on Chris, let's leave it on Chris. A little bit too zazzy for myself. And then, that's this floor. The only issue right now is we have people working upstairs, so we're gonna try and show you. Oh, and these are baby skates. I have no idea what that is. Skate eggs? Okay, and uh, this is a print by Eve's mom, which is amazing. She's very talented. And then upstairs, that's our bedroom, but they're currently working on the floor, so we can't really go in there. This is the guest room. Actually, Redbeard just stayed here. Eve's crap is still everywhere, but that's totally fine. <laughs> it's got a really awesome skylight to it, and you get to sleep with a giant TV. Actually, it's here because we, uh, that goes in our bedroom. But they're currently working on the floors. And then over here is Jackie, our roommate's room. Got a room with flowers. Yeah, she, uh, oh my God, she has a lot of flowers going on. So she's a florist, so there's always flowers everywhere and she's like hyper clean. And that's the only reason she can live with us. And we love her to death. And then, there's a surprise behind this door. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Margo, and that's Max. Max, what are you doing? He's staying warm, curled up behind the pillow. So they don't do much, but we love them to death. And this is Jackie's room. She has the largest room. She is a drummer, which is super cool and also loves photo, so we get along very, very, very well. And she's got a bunch of balloons, and she's got the coolest, coolest view of the street, and the cats absolutely love it. There's the floor guy's truck that are currently here. She was sleeping. Look at how these adorable house slippers. <laughs> Um, is our roof access that we just had completely re-roofed with this white that blinds you But um, it's pretty cool. That's the skylight from the guest room and uh, We're gonna probably put a net up here and some decking But um, it's pretty awesome and then back here Of course is our backyard and you can see we have a balcony in our room, but we can't really show you it But there's the net and downstairs pretty high up So That is the new HQ It's pretty awesome uh, walking 10 steps to work and uh, really allows you to focus and get a lot of stuff done in the day and having Eve here and having all the guys have enough room it's, it's amazing we could not ask for anything more and uh, we owe a lot to you guys and you know supporting both our products and our media really appreciate it so of course let me know what you guys think of the place in the comments below and uh, if you guys want to see more of a part of the new HQ definitely let me know and uh, hopefully we get to update you guys in a month or so when everything's all settled so that's everything guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the field be sure to subscribe to throne lacrosse to not miss any throne chronicles and in the comments below let us know your favorite part of the new throne hq